Hi, today in executeautomation.com video tutorial session in test complete, we're going to discuss about the data driven testing using ADO. Okay, so using ADO, uh, so far in part one session, we saw how to, how to perform the data driven testing using Excel sheets and CSV. So in part two, we're going to discuss how to perform the same data driven operation using ADO driver that we have in test complete. Using this ADO driver, we can leverage the power of accessing data from a database using either ODBC connections or using the uh, DNS which we create in the ODBC driver options in the operating system. So using ADO driver, we can access the database such as SQL Server and Oracle or even MySQL I believe. Uh, but I didn't try it with the MySQL. So you can op use the options using those <coughs> SQL Server products, I mean, server, database server products available. Okay, so today uh, we're going to discuss of how to use ADO driver to access the database uh, which is available in my host machine, uh, Windows 7, from one of the remote machine which is running in my, uh, you know, virtual machine. <coughs> Uh, in SQL so in server 2008 operating system okay so so here is the same script which we saw in the part one of our uh, in our demonstration in Excel and CSV so uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to comment these codes which is available already so I'm just going to comment this guy and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, the DDT dot ADO driver. So I'm going to choose this and if you click control shift and space here so it will show you the connection strings and the table name. Well uh, this is my uh, you know virtual machine which doesn't have any uh, any of the uh, SQL Server product installed so I'm going to access the database from my <coughs> remote host machine excuse me. So now to do that what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to uh, you know uh, create a connection string from accessing uh, you know by creating a ODBC connectivity so you can do this by you know searching the ODBC uh, option which is available in your operating system I have already created the ODBC uh, I mean DNS uh, here for my uh, host machine using this Karthik DB so I'm just going to use this guy right now so uh, go to the store in order to create this uh, connection string I used to use this trick I will use this store add new item and here there is an option called DB table so I'll just select that one and will say okay it already exists so I'm just gonna create one <coughs> excuse me so I'm gonna say uh, add uh, a t table here so right now uh, we have a uh, I'm going to specify a table the main trick of this is uh, I'm just trying to access the connection string from my remote machine in order to do that I'm doing all these stuffs okay just uh, be with it right now and you will understand why I'm doing this one uh, afterwards so I'm going to select the ODBC okay and I'm going to select a DNS which I have already created so I'm going to select this guy and uh, I'm going to enter the username and password for my machine uh, SQL Server so I'm just selecting that and it lists all my database which is available so I'm going to select the database employee details so as you could see here in my uh, one second uh, it's pretty much slow today so uh, I'm going to select this <coughs> excuse me employee t details database uh, in order to uh, you know select the uh, options I mean the tables which is available within this database so uh, let's select this and I'm going to click the hit this OK button. Uh, oh my God, this is slow today. Uh, so what I'm going to do is okay. We just got back up. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the database which I'm using here. So this is the employee details uh, database which I have right now and uh, it has a table called uh, details uh, table so uh, our intention is to access this detail table uh, from the database server which is a uh, database which is available in my host machine windows 7 and i'm going to uh, retrieve this informations like name age and phone numbers from this 
the SQL Server database. So this is what is the intention. So uh, <clears throat> let's go back again to the virtual machine uh, in Windows Server 2008, and from there we will try to access this uh, particular uh, you know database. So let's test the connection. So it succeeds, and I'm going to click this OK button. And here is the connection string. So I'm just going to copy this connection string. This is this is why I actually created the whole uh, table structures and other stuff from the stores in Test Complete. So in order to, oops, one second. Uh, let's give the username and password once again. And this will uh, you know retrieve us the tables. Okay, so here is the detailed tables. Uh, as you know, this is the table which we have in these. So it retrieves all this name, age, and phone number right now. Okay, great. So finish. Okay, super. So it just got connected. So I'm going to use this guy, uh, this description, uh, the connection string which is c I have copied from the. Uh, database table before while I was creating. So let me use this and we know that the database table name uh, is uh, details so I'm gonna just uh, you know use that and I'm gonna say okay so what have we have did right now is using this addt.adwo driver I have copy pasted the connection strings. This is the whole intention to create a con <coughs> connection string I just copy paste this one. And right now, as did uh, in our uh, CSV driver, I'm going to use the same DDT dot uh, current driver dot uh, drive method. Uh, I'm going to choose the same uh, unit test dot color. So unit dot unit one dot uh, color, right? So uh, this will uh, pull us the color here. Okay. So it's going to be the same thing. So in the color, this is the same structure which I have created uh, for. So that's why uh, it's it's going to be same. That's why what I'm going to do is I'm just going to execute this once again and uh, just execute this and see if it's it's running fine or not. So I'm just going to execute this guy. And oops, uh, we got an error here. Okay, it says that the the password is not correct. Okay. Uh, Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just add a field here called password. So I'm going to outs outsource my password right now. It's equal to uh, let's say it's just project A, right? So okay. So I did this and I'm going to save this guy right now and I'm going to just run this once again. Let's see if it works. Hey, that's working fine. As you could see here, I could just pull the data from the database using uh, the same ADO driver method which I have. So it came like Karthik27 and here's the phone number. Similarly, John Carter45 and his phone number. And Will Smith 40 phone number. So it just came up. <coughs> so this way it just works pretty fine. So this is how you can pull the data from the uh, ADO driver. So, uh, so this is uh, the data-driven testing using test complete using the uh, you know uh, ADO driver and pull the data from the SQL Server database. So I hope you enjoyed the data-driven testing part one and also the part two. And uh, really thank you very much for watching and just wait for the upcoming video sessions of testcompleteinexecuteautomation.com. Thank you. Anna?